Welcome to our today's feature presentation, What it takes to be a trader. My name is Thomas Barman, and I'm going to introduce you to what you learn in an Avalos trading program. And on the other hand, you also should have that on hand as a trader in any program that you do. So compare us to what you know, compare us to what others do, and we might have some interesting offer for you. Yeah? So let us move ahead. And what does it take to be a trader? First of all, you have to have a system giving you a high predictability. What's high predictability? So you need to be able to find 65% trades that go into your direction that you predict. If you are not at that point, think about finding a system that gives it to you. And we have many of those starting from trade colors going all the way to our top line, which is the top of the line product. And they help you with that repetitive situations because, you know, you want something on your charts that's repetitive, continuous and gives you trades on the time frames you decide for as a day trader, as a swing trader or as a long term investor. And key is you'll have to have defined entries, predefined exits and stops and here is a good point stops we not always use stops that's where the name never lost trading comes from never stop loss trading because we make a lot of trade adjustments hedge a position rather than to biting the bullet and making a loss yeah also valuation what is this at every trade situation you should know how strong the setup is from the get-go so that you can appraise if the odds are in your favor or not because you balance it with the risk and reward of the trade and then you can clearly appraise if you want to trade and you don't or you don't and i show you later on in the table how that can all be done in a very easy instance where you just fill in your details and the rest is calculated for you risk management very important point very important point because everybody has an own risk tolerance for some people it might be hundred dollars three hundred dollars three thousand dollars how much can you afford to lose per trade so that it doesn't ruin your account and we'll go through more details on this but the, this is all key and you might just make check mark check mark check mark on it i got it all then you're perfectly set then uh that here is not for you if you have open voids here listen carefully take some notes or take the advantage of getting contact with us we'll show you how that can work on the chart and in the program yeah business plan a financial and action plan what is this in trading if you know you win 65 percent and you trade at certain time frames or certain constellations so many trades per week per month times the winning uh, opportunity uh, minus the losses that you produce that'll give you a financial plan and an action plan how do you prepare for your trading day how do you carry yourself forward how do you put action in place so that everything moves in your direction and that brings us here a pro trader has a network of all individual uh, groups helping him to perform it's his issue or her issue successfully yet to trade and so it takes the risk manager the back office yeah doing all the statistics the analysts finding what's hot and where to trade and the trader to execute and moving along with the system let us now start with the first instance Risk management, our first topic. Yeah, you might say, whoa, what is this? Why do I deal with it? That keeps you in business. Yeah, Risk management is a key essential. A key essential for all of us to tackle who are in trading. Because when we get the risk management right, we'll have a lot of opportunity for doing the right things over and over and stay in the game. Yeah? So let us fill that risk management a little bit with life and we'll make it even more detailed here yeah? maximum five percent risk per trade yeah that should be a given never risk more and odds based lot sizes so when you appraise your odds of a situation you adjust your lot size and i'm going to give you an example in a second here yeah? and max risk one time two times the reward so wow man this is big here why why would you even do that for some trade setups the volatility is high and so therefore i'm just saying that's the max if you need more volatility to bring your uh, trade to target, just don't do it because then the odds are not in your favor. Yeah? When you have three bad trades, go half position because you don't do it right. And when you have five bad trades, you need to go back to the drawing board to see what does not work. 
with the way you are executing your trades at your key defined positions because you know you always should have defined entries defined exits defined stops if you don't have that then ambiguity is in every trade and that's definitely not what you want to have and that's not going to get you a target so when you know all these how how do you put it in action so i take here a cvx chart on march 15 and the way we trade we want confirmation yeah so you'll see here on that chart that was the trade setup there's a buy program coming in and driving the price up in in the continuation so you say by the way what happened prior so yeah there was a buy program here too that drove the price up yeah and uh, so so that was a valid trade what's here no valid trade because the next candle wasn't even higher or lower than that turn point here and these are that instance it wasn't lower here so we don't trade when we don't have confirmation so but here we had confirmation next bar ticked it in so we trade that and we want to appraise the situation and also we want to know if, what do we do in the next year we'll add to the position if that happens so you're in with so many shares you might add to the position because you have a nice continuation pattern of something that works so you add to the good and you stay away from the bad yeah but let's go and now we go into details with calculation of how it's all done yeah the first yeah so here's our simple cvx and we appraise here a, a stock trade and an option trade for the same symbol yeah so the direction we trade is up here yeah? we have a signal that's called here turn point signal and then we measure SPU. SPU stands for speed unit. We trade when institutional engagement is uh, portrayed on the chart, which was the case here. And uh, then we'll measure how far will that trade most likely carry us. And the SPU here was $1.49. Yeah? So then we have an entry price that we take from the chart, 94.34. We had our exit price by the dot on the chart, identified by the SPU. And then we had our stop price that was 2% of a spool below the low of the candle that we entered. Yeah, so now our calculation kicks in and says, okay, the price move to target is $1.82. You're risking $1.41. That's 1.5% 1 uh, risk to 1.9% reward. 1.2 to 1, that's a good trade. Risk management is adjusted. Okay. The, the stop seems tied by this, but we looked at it at the chart. Yeah, it's meaningful. The odds ratio yeah, is 2.5 to 1. Yeah, that's important. Why? We don't want to trade an odds ratio below 1.5. And here we trade two lots. So in, in that instance, we just took a $100,000 account. And you can take any account. It'll always scale down then uh, when you use that. So five positions uh, the holder wants to hold. So the average investment would be 20000 But because we find such a strong setup, it says to us, you can even risk a little bit more. Yeah. And uh, within that, when you bring it home, you make $768 or 1.9% return on cash or $595 if you're losing on it because your stop is triggered. So now it comes to the option. So here we'll do the same with an option trade, yeah, doing that short term and uh, calculating it, what we pay for the option, what's the bid ask spread that all goes in here. And then you see here, oh, on the option trade, we'll have a situation where we have an 80% risk because we trade short term, but we have a 140% reward. Here we traded the weekly option there. The lot size was two lots and our odds ratio is 3.3 to one. Pretty favorable. Yeah, so that thing came to target. You saw it on the chart. So here, if you invested $4,000, it gave you 5,500 the profit or it gave you also a, a sound risk. Yeah, but when you don't have all of these in place, you are not a sizable trader. And this is why I'd, I'd ask about this network group. The risk management uh, guidelines, they are giving you all this. And this is what it takes to be a trader. If you're not just operating out of gut feeling, this is a calculation business. And the ones you trade against, they have calculators in place. This is not hard to do because at the end of the day, you're just filling in those few things here and here and you're done all the rest is done systematic and by a system helping you to define when the trade is good and you invest two lots one lot or more because you see up here is our rules and guidelines if 
it's risky, maximum half a lot if you even trade, one lot on normal situation, two lots on favorable, and home runs get four lots if you wanna if they are in your risk tolerance and if you wanna trade it like this. Yeah, I hope that gives you an idea that there's a little more needed for being a successful trader than usual systems uh normally integrate, but you see them all integrated here, and I'm happy to move ahead and get you even more excited. So what happened to the trade here? Yeah? What happened here? Yeah? So the real action is what happened. So as we had it here, the price threshold was surpassed, trade came to target, a next signal was triggered, and trade came to target. So you had two wonderful trades after each other coming home. And you see here that bottom study also tells you there's buy or sell programs from institutions in it, in particular when these highs of the price get surpassed or on the sell program, the lows. And then you have opportunity to trade and to trade significantly into the right direction. Yeah? Important, but more important is you can prepare your trades. The odds that tells you your position sizing, you know your maximum risk, that it meets your risk tolerance. And all these guidelines have to be in your portfolio to make you the trader that you want to be. Yeah. With that, I want to move ahead to the next instance in these Pro Trader Network. Yeah. The next instance here uh, on our chart is back office. So ah, statistics and all of that. Yeah, but they're important. They tell you what works, what does not. And uh, we'll show you how we can put that in motion with you. And uh, how can we take that as an advantage? Because all these individual gears make the trader work into the right direction. If you're missing all of that, your success most likely is random. Yeah, and that that's what we don't want. We want you to be a successful trader, yeah? Back office does trade documentation, has evaluation tools to help you uh, to understand what worked, what did not work. So it gives you a scorecard, adjustment proposal, win-loss stats, short-long stats, and we help you to do that. In our mentorships, we work together. Every trade gets communicated and gets uh, a feedback so that you know how well you're doing in particular of what you do and how you well you're doing in comparison to others. And when you don't have that, you, you might all have interpretations of what's going on, but we want to make that a science and bring you dedicated, focused, to target yeah it, it it is important to take notes yeah so sometimes i take a little side note here uh, i went to the u.s open and in particular at that point in time watched tiger woods playing at every hole at every drive he did he took some notes why did he do that he he, he gave himself mental notes or even written notes to go through and uh, move up in its perform in his performance. So if those pros do it, you need to do it in particular in a numbers game where the others on the other side of your trade, yeah, the institutions, they fill your order because their numbers game says they can take it. They can take the risk and you'll have to balance your risk with the statistics as well that you have an advantage over them. You can have big advantages over the institutions. Yeah, so with that, let us move ahead. And we show you some back office work here. Yeah? Uh, how could that look like? So this is real here. This is the statistics a trader produced. He's a day trader. Or there's some swing trades too. So he did crude oil on a short-term basis. And, and he did uh, on a one-hour chart certain trades and on four-hour charts. So we balanced it all with him and saying, okay, look, this is your potential. Uh, this is your current attainment rate, what you make per month. That's what comes out. This is how it worked. This is how many you got right, you got wrong. And this is what we need to be working on to move you ahead. So you have you made 4,000, but you have an opportunity to make 6,700. Let's jointly work on evaluating each trade with you, have a daily review of where things are going, and give you adjustment proposals, like you see it here, to move you ahead so that your scorecard shows a full performance and that, in particular, your account shows a full performance of growing. Yeah, that's what you want to do in trading. You want to grow. And if that's not a given, we need adjustment proposals to bring you ahead. Yeah, so that gives you an example. So it's Excel based, not problematic, easy to understand, but important to have all that in place. Yeah, next step we'll take will be this one here, the analyst. Yeah, so oh, what's the analyst? Yeah, the analyst is basically your fish finder, helping you 
to get an idea where the fish swim so that you can go out and catch them. Yeah. And we help you. We do it for you and we do it with you because you know from our daily reports and many come up twice a day what to trade. Yeah. So the symbols that come with our never lost trading alerts, the time frames to trade is also important. Yeah. Meaningful time frames. Most traders have time frames where they, and I know from the get go, it's entertaining and, and trade rooms have great entertainment over it, but you have close to no chance to ever come out with money because the odds are not in your favor. Don't want to go too deep into that here, but that's what you learn in the program. Meaningful time frames yeah and which signals yeah on which signals you hit for the next base on which signals you hit for the home run yeah and when not to trade there's certain times where it is highly risky to trade and have positions and when when you still hold a position you might look for a hedge yeah something that gets you uh, out of that problematic situation and helps you to stay in the trade and helps you to maintain your account at good standing yeah how does it all work? We have this daily analysis where you see here tools like for four hour daily weekly chart and these alerts then help you pre-market. Yeah. So what's hot today? What was in the pre-market uh, traded that is tradable for you from the get go uh, as a day trader, as a swing trader or as a long term investor? You always have your idea. Look, long term will do from weekly chart swing from daily and four hour day trading then from lower time frames. Yeah. And uh, whatever program you are in with you either have an own scanner like in top line or you have a watch list indicator even in our basic program tradecolors.com that tells you from uh, the symbols i'm looking at those are the ones that triggered at the time frame i want to observe a potential signal so you don't have to go through hundreds of charts you see it at the get-go with an easy filter coming down to you and so with that the analyst helps you to be ahead of the curve within knowing what to trade and at what time frame to do so yeah the market timing is essential yeah because time of the day ranges define where prices will halt and turn there's price accumulation points and they're statistic based and they're history based. Forget the idea of Fibonacci. I totally don't see any sense in that, but some people, they like to put that drawing on the chart, but uh, institutions don't trade by it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah? And how to couple daily, hourly, full hour and weekly charts, that's a, a, a key art, because if you want to trade with less risk, let, let me give you an example later, <clears throat> how that can be done. Yeah. And good and bad times because certain times are easier and certain times are more volatile throughout the day to trade so let's put that in action yes so first we have time of the day ranges yes so what is this a time of the day range yes so you see here there's this box that we what we have here drawn out as a red box first which is the setup of the face and then as a continuation for the euro us dollar yeah, and you see then okay after the box was set up i see price came down broke halter came back to the box then it came back and then exactly here yeah so exactly at that price here it accumulated but you see that bar yeah that blue line was there prior telling you if you go long here where it screams buy me you better get out here because there is the line and if you don't have it on the chart you might be in trouble and you might not be the trader that you want to be because you're not seeing key critical points here so here's a little expanded short-term trading euro us dollar or forex trade and but by the setup of that box a defined high low was given and then that high low was dominant for the rest of the time plus including those lines in here that help you to say okay price accumulation if we come from here to here you see you got these buy sell points and you got these dots on the chart giving you a good idea where to take first profits of something when you had your stop down here first profit yeah first and then you'll trade all the way up here so you see favorable reward risk at a lot of dimensions where you can trade within risking little for a bigger attainment and achievement let's even go a little more into detail price accumulation yeah so here we take the same chart euro us dollar and we inflate it a little and you see here that grid of what we call lime lines and those lime lines are predominant lines where prices will 
continue to halter. So you see here on the chart, when the price moved from that buy signal to the limeline, we have some haltering here. So you see these sticks of the candles coming down, then we're breaking out, going to the next limeline. There we halter a little till we break out, go to the next and go to the next. So you see here, that's where the prices then just on that chart, it was an actual chart when I recorded it, then started to make a turn. But would you be a different trader if you'd be able to enter here? And you know when I get out of here, this one is maybe a first portion. So if I trade more than a contract or a lot, the first portion I go out, that's my second. Yeah, or I trade three, I go out with one here and I take two out of here. So your risk reward, very favorable if you understand those price accumulation points and you haven't. You see how important it is to have a good analyst that makes your chart and you see how complicated it is? Absolutely not because it's right there for you to use if you use the right program. So now I scaled it down. Amazon had just uh, bad news last week. Yeah? And so, uh, yeah, a a Apple took uh, the business away, moved it over to Google uh, on the cloud. And so bang, the stock got an effect. But on the hourly chart, we we're able to catch it. And we had these haltering lines telling us where about will prices stop and break. Yeah. So if you have that, you know it's a good time to take profit. Why is it so important? Yeah, many of our traders learn to trade options. And then when you are on a strong demand of puts, on the way down, you make a ton of more money if you understand where prices accumulate, then you just uh, let it go and then you're surprised in here. You might not even make any money because you're at the wrong side of the trade where you get nervous here. Yeah? So this grid is a grid for success, helping you to move constantly into the right direction, trade by trade. Yeah. So weekly chart, Tesla, Yeah. there you have these boxes and gray lines telling you when I break, I'll make a big move. So you see here, oh yeah, big move after the box break. And when I reverse, I'll make a big move. Yeah, so and on the bottom again, you have the institutional sell programs here. And then immediately you had a buy program carrying you through. If you can do that on a weekly chart and you learn to do options, you have very little engagement, about 5% on a dollar. Uh, then you have very little engagement in those high quality shares and you can participate within going in the right direction. But you see price accumulation points and price breaks are key. And if your chart, <laughs> that went wild here, if your chart doesn't help you to analyze this, then you are not prepared for good trades. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what my mouse is doing here, but it keeps me and wants me to run forward, giving you more information. But you see how what it all tracks? Risk management, statistics and uh, analyzation, uh, clear guide guidelines of analyzing where do prices break, which instruments are hot, which have signal. When all of this is in place, you are ready to be the trader that you want to be. Now the next point, yeah, what are good times and bad times to trade? You, you as an analyst, you have to give it to yourself and we help you. Look at our web page, if you go on the news and you hit the first button for a worldwide news event, you know what's going on in the overnight session, morning session, afternoon times, which times have key news like the red ones highlighted here that might throw the market around or which corporate things go on that's down there on the ticker. And how does it impact volatility? Yeah, so because when you're an option trader, you will see at certain times when certain news announcement come uh, out, the uh, imp uh, applied volatility of an option is humongous. So if you buy that thing just straight out of the gate, uh, you might get where you want to be by the price of the underlying, but then the option lets the air out. So you're not making no money. Yeah. So all of this together has to be known to move in the right direction. And we are happy to share that with you in our mentorships, because now you see it's not just a bunch of indicators. It's a lot of detail, a lot of integral knowledge for you prepared over years of experience and documented. And uh, we're going hand in hand. We always work one on one with people because there is so far, we are business since 2008, not one who had the same risk tolerance or the same trading preference. Yes, some like stocks, others like futures, others like Forex. And also in there, there's a lot of different preference of what to trade. And truly we give also good hints. Some instruments are easier to trade than others. Yeah. And uh, so this cap coupling, you might say, what is important for me? Yeah, the thing is, at some of you or of us, we want to trade with lower risk tolerance. So when a daily chart triggers a signal, 
you might only be ready to take a one hour risk. And that's what I'm showing you here. Daily and hourly charts, they comply. Or when a weekly chart hits, then usually you can take a four hour risk. They, they go well together. And I made that statistic here, why the gradient at certain points of those two couple, uh, coupled waves this is basically the same. Yeah, there's a lot of signal theory behind that. Don't want to go in it. Now you see it on a chart. Yeah, so look for example, Tesla triggered here a daily signal on 2.2 and then on 2.5. Yeah, both of those came home. I'm getting ahead of myself. Both of those came home. Yeah, and reached their target. So what was the target? So it was this one. Yeah. So okay, next day or the day after that was reached, and this one basically was reached in the same day. So that's a dot on chart. Yeah, so target was here. Yeah, so then here the target was here. So that was reached in that bar. Yeah, so when you're prepared like this, you can easily trade it as a, a swing trader. Yeah, holding the push position for one or two days. If you don't like the overnight risk, we'll need to do something different. Yeah, with then go and scale that down to an hourly chart. Yeah, the daily happening. So you see the same day, two, three again. And then we'll have where the prices break that threshold, you see that line, I made that extra, I know there's a lot of others, yeah, but here that line that I took here on the chart, this one here, yeah, so when that broke, we'll took just that itsy bitsy little risk, yeah, so that's what the risk we were ready to take, the difference between 82.50 and 85 so we took a two dollar and 50 risk instead of like uh uh an eight or nine dollar risk and we brought it home where did we trade it yeah so when we do a day trade we trade it to the the end of the day and uh there we made our money yeah or we as when we are swing trader then we trade it to the instance into the next day and do it with that, but you do it on a very, very little risk tolerance. So you see that, yeah? And so this is why sometimes a couple of us want to couple signals and you need to know which signals you can couple to trade with a minuscule uh, risk for a sound reward, yeah? And that all makes trading so different if you consider that, yeah? Let's go to the next part of the analysts summarizing here. Yeah? So when you understand the time of the day ranges, the price accumulation points, how to couple signals, and when there's good and bad times, you're a different trader. So this is why in the next chart you see all these gears have to work together to put you in action. Yeah. So now we had the risk manager, the back office, the analyst and what they do and how we replicate this. And now we'll look at the trader. So what's the trader doing next? So the trader, he does a first thing. He follows entry and exit decisions. Where are those? You see here on the chart, it has a clearly distinct buy, buy above the high. Yeah, so that was here. And bring it to target. Yeah, then it did have the same here. Sell me, sell me. And there's target points on the chart. And again, here you had a buy program coming in and a set target. So did it continue after year? But we want to reach our first target first and then we can trail because this is why we have those red lines on the chart helping you to trail your stops, yeah? Or your trade adjustment points. When you have that, what else? Odds approximation. So you, you know as a trader, so this signal has a higher probability over the other. So, and, uh, when that's the case, you'll do a better approximation because your lot size will go in conjunction. You remember the CVX example that I showed you? Your lot size comes in the strength of the signal, the relation of risk to reward, and that's what you decide for. And surely the trader has these instruments from the analyz analyz analyzing side, knowing where to trade and what, and then he trades does trade execution. Yeah? So he puts the first physical order in or puts a contingency order in by the following call if the price of the underlying is above 40 426.29 and then and offer a limit price of the following you learn all this if you don't have it yet ready but this execution will make it easy for you to not even be in front of your computer you can all pre-program that and then the system automatically sends out your order as a contingency order and it only hits the market when your conditions are fulfilled 
Yes, yeah, that makes you a trader. And when trades go wrong, instead of running away from them, learn how to adjust them, how to potentially turn a loser even into a winner, turning trade situations around. That's all what the trader does. But you saw prior, there were many gears that had to fold into each other and have to move so that the trader could act in the right direction. So too many people just focus on a signal on the chart, but all the rest has to be in place. And that's what we teach one-on-one. -on -one. Always video capture everything so that you can go through the learned again. And that's essential for you. So have that ready, get excited to learn all those individual key steps for being a trader. And what else? A solid trader has a business plan. That's a big what else here. Yeah? So, so what in the world is the business plan? It is the plan that follows a system. Yeah. So, you know, your entries, exits and stop or adjustment levels, but then you'll know, okay, what instruments am I trading? Yeah. What do I do with them in certain time frames? What is attainable here? Yeah? So how many trades can I do per day on an hourly chart on a four hour chart? And or when I'm a swing trader, what can I do on a weekly chart? How much should be my positions? And besides that, you also have an action plan that tells you by time, how you prepared, what you do. If you don't have that in place right now, listen carefully because this is one of our offers. We always do that with every individual who signs up with us at any program. We give you the asset know-how, we give you the system know-how, but we also help you to build a business plan. We can do it on a basis of, let's say, uh, whatever increment. We don't need to know your exact numbers, but we'll help you so that you have a financial idea in place because look, small account holders or account holders, let's say, let, let's pick a $10,000 account holder. Then we work out, okay, when you can do a combination of day and swing trades, uh, we strive you for making $900 a week. So how does it sound exciting? Absolutely. Is it doable? Totally. Absolutely. When you have your uh, direction and probabilities there, that is a very doable number. Yeah. So you have to have the trade know-how of how these systems work, where prices accumulate, where are all these points, be prepared of what to trade by knowing what the signals are. And then you'll have your defined action plan. So you know what to do at any given time of the day. And you know, some people are only trading. Uh, an hour a day, others trade eight hours a day, learn the time frames. We are happy to do that all with you in our one on one training. If you want to be part of this and you want to have the chart tell you with all these instances buying, 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 yeah, that's a top line program, and you can follow this, yeah, and you can trail with the stop if you are interested of having your second uh, lot or the next lot run. You'll learn all that, and how do you learn it? How do we dedicate ourselves in teaching you how to apply those new systems that are following institutional money moves? It's one-on-one -on -one training at your available time, even we work on weekends, yeah? past history approved system. So there's many traders since 2008 that makes that successfully and make a good living of it. The software gets all installed. It's on think or swim. So if you are with a different broker, doesn't matter. It's a free trading platform, free real time data. So you keep your broker relationship and you just see the data on our platform and then you execute on the plat or your platform of choice that gives you the most liberty without paying anything uh, on monthly fee for real-time data. That's a super duper fantastic offer here. Yeah? We have written documentation for everything, depending on the program between 100 and 180 pages where trade situations, assets, all explained to you. Yeah, we always do a video. Yeah, at every instance where we do a teaching, we do a video for you, similar to the one you have today, but that small uh, video tell you, telling you some action steps. There you learn exactly what to do and how to work your business plan and do all it. And then we help you to perfect it because we give you feedback day by day on the trades that you send in. Some are just a given yeah, textbook, so you follow the rules or here, look at this, you overlook that, making you the trader you want to be, we go hand in hand with you. So we, by teaching one-on-one, -on -one, our spots are usually extremely limited. So please don't take the risk of missing out. And you can reach us either on the office phone, 866-455-0520, or write an email to contact the nevelostrading.com. And we're also happy if you want to see one system perform, uh, performing live, we're happy to give you a demonstration of how that works. Hope we could get you excited to make a turn into your life as a trader, to be the trader that you want to be with the right instruments on hand that go from risk management, 
back office, all the statistics, what works, what not, analyzing and trade execution, all from one platform. That should be your knowledge for the future. Give us a ring. We are happy to entertain you and we are happy to have you on board. Bye-bye.